Hey, this is Gatorax, and today I have two cartridges of uh, Pokemon Gold. Now, I'm going to be going over the differences between these. One is real, one is fake. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because actually, at my local mall, uh, these vending machines have been set up that contain several video games, and amongst them are some Pokemon video games, so they're very tempting. Two games come in one pack for about 20 bucks, and it seems like a steal when... It is, but not the steel in the way you think. Uh, these cartridges that are in these vending machines are replicas. So if you happen to see these around, just be aware of that. I mean, they're going to work the exact same. They're going to work just fine on a console. However, uh, if you're looking for a legitimate copy, it's not that. Now, about 10 bucks for a real copy of Pokemon Gold, that's a steal. 10 bucks for a replica, that's a ripoff. <laughs> Um, and I know for sure the Pokemon ones are fake, uh, so I have to assume every other game in the uh, in these uh, vending machines are fake. But let's go ahead and uh, discuss the differences. At first glance, it looks pretty good. Um, the copies of Pokemon Blue look up a lot better. I'm just doing a gold comparison. I don't have a real cartridge of Pokemon Blue. I have a real cartridge of Pokemon Gold. Uh, so... The one on the left is real, the one on the right is fake. At first glance, it looked pretty good. Uh, when you compare them more so, you can kind of start to see the differences. And again, like I said, it looks better with, uh, like, the copy of Pokemon Blue looks better. So, this one's a fake one. Looks brand new, kind of. Looks clean. Uh, the cover looks really nice. Honestly, what I what would be nice to be able to do is to have this sticker on the real one. Because, as you can tell, a real cartridge from 1998, especially if it's used is going to be sort of faded, pretty beat up. Uh, it's also a little more, holo it's also more holographic. They did try to uh, capture the holographic look a little, or no, not even, I can't even really see it. Uh, but the sticker is going to be holographic. The cartridge itself is also going to have these uh, speckles on it because, you know, that's how they are. That's how silver version is also. Just let me grab my copy of silver version. Here it is. Silver version is going to be that same way also. It's gonna have the speckles made into the uh, made into the actual cartridge itself, and again, it's gonna have a holographic reflective sticker. Uh, it's mostly for the front, for the back, you can see a difference right away, uh, and you can see the difference with the speckles a little more so. So right here with the legitimate copy, uh, it uses the screw, which I don't exactly know what kind of uh, I don't know the name of this. However, I do have the uh, screwdriver for it because, you know, I, co I collect these cartridges and I replace the uh, the old save batteries. Uh, this one here, uh, the bolt is a, hot, a little higher and it does use still a tri-wing screwdriver, which is something that Nintendo products typically do. And, uh, you know, for the Game Boy, it's, it's going to have these screws all over it. However, for the cartridges, it's going to have these ones. Um, and also, comparatively, the real copy is heavier. It's much heavier. We'll go ahead and see why in a bit. And that's kind of one of the first ways I was able to tell with this. Even without having uh, my real copy with me, I picked this up and this was way too light. Another interesting thing, uh, you can just see the bo uh, you can just see the uh, um, the pins here when you look into the real copy. On the uh, not real one, you can see the pins and you can see inside of it. And again, kind of see why it's a little lighter. So let's go ahead and open up the real copy and I'll show you what that looks like inside. Gotta be sure not to lose that screw. And so when you screw that off, so allow you to slide this off. And here is the um, here is what it, the board looks like. This is the save battery, of course. You know this is one of the issues with real copies, and why I have a bunch of uh, I just have a bunch of these batteries on me, uh, is that these batteries die, and this is what allows you to save the game. So if these batteries die, you have to open it up, desolder these ports here, and then put a new one in, and then uh, solder a new one in. And uh, this is what the game board looks like. Takes up the full cartridge, as expected. Uh, let's go ahead and open up this one. Take a look at it. Uh, all right. And you gotta be careful not to lose that screw as well. So let's see if it opens up the same way. Yeah, it does. Roughly, not as, not as cleanly. All right, and that's what the board looks like on the illegitimate copy. So comparison wise, yep, big difference. Uh, the reason why it's like this is because this was made this year. <laughs> and so you're able to compress everything onto onto a smaller board. And as you can see, you don't even really need the save battery because um, th this is basically just a ROM for the game. 
put onto uh, on, onto a smaller board inside a, a replica um, a replica case. And the case seems about the same. Of course, you know, just the port for the uh, screw is different, and is that little thing there. So you could e very easily just cast and uh, mold these cases, which is very likely what happened, and then you know put a smaller board into it. Let's go ahead and seal these back up, which I hope this one seals right. There you go. And I mean, with a replica, with with a, a replica cartridge. Again, it'll play just fine, and if you don't care about it being legitimate, you know, I guess go ahead. But again, you know, technically the, like, for ROMs, you should probably own a real copy, but you know, you, you know how it is with, uh, when you want to play your games. Now, the main thing is with, uh, with this replica copy here is that um, I don't want people to buy it thinking they're getting a legitimate copy and you know if you care uh you know if you buy it and you just want to play the game on your console that's fine but anyway that's been it for this comparison again like i've said i think for the pokemon blue copies because you don't have to go with the uh the speckled uh you don't have to go with the fancy uh design here on the actual cartridge it's a little easier to fool people and it'd be great if these vending machines just put like hey these are replica cartridges on it but unfortunately they you know they don't and so there are going to be a good amount of people who get them thinking they're real again you know you can buy replica cartridges if you like although go online because they're going to be cheaper there they're going to be like a few bucks uh but anyway hey if you enjoyed this random video uh, that i just thought i'd make on a whim let me know what you think down in the comments below uh, if you have any other tips or tricks uh to to determine you know fake versus real again probably might have been best to go with uh if i could have got pokemon blue but you know again i don't have a real copy of pokemon blue on me at the moment but leave your comments below we'll continue the discussion down there if you enjoyed the content leave a like subscribe show your support if you'd like to see more um things like this like openings unboxings or discussion about just physical cartridges let me know down in the comments below i'd love to be able to make more of this if you enjoyed the content leave a like subscribe all that cool stuff you can enable notifications by clicking the bell icon next to the subscribe button this will make sure you see each new video as it comes out and we'll make you a member of the chingling squad anyway this has been gatorx have a nice day